Hi, welcome to another Lord's Blodge review. This time we're going to take a look at the USS Defiant, a Wave 1 expansion for Star Trek Attack Wing from Wizkit, a tough little ship, as Picard said in First Contact. I think that's right. Uh, a horde of Trekkies will probably be on me if I'm wrong. But anyway, let's have a look and see if it lives up to its name. Right, first things first, let's take a look at the model itself. Um, uh, it's okay, I mean it's with kids so we're not talking any fantasy flight. X-Wing miniatures here. The paint job is a little on the amateurish side but with a quick touch up it'll be fine. I mean the model itself is fairly well detailed. Uh, the only interesting thing is the mount is not in the center, it's towards the back. It's also completely and utterly not to scale. But then again, if it was, it'd be tiny, about the size of a, the shuttle bay there at the back of the, the Enterprise D. Anyway, so that's the model. It's okay. And the cards that come with the expansion. This is in no particular order because I've just pulled them out of the box, but here we go. You have a new version of Miles O'Brien that can disable himself to repair two shields. That's quite useful. Uh, here's the Defiant class. 3 attack, 2 agility, 3 hull and 3 shields. Not a lot of attack. Uh, it's supposed to be quite a good warship, you would have thought, maybe 4 attack. Uh, evade, target lock, scan and battle stations. And we have attack pattern delta. Disable this card to re-roll your entire defense dice. You must re-roll all of the dice and keep the results. Okay. Not bad. Cloaking device. So the Federation finally gets a cloaking device and they get one that's not quite as good as everybody else's. You have to disable it to cloak. It can be fitted on other Federation ships but costs an additional 5 points if it's not put on Defiant. You get a new wharf. Target ship at range 1. It rolls 2 less attack dice. Here's the maneuver dial for the Defiant. As you can see, it's fairly manoeuvrable. It's got a come about, which I think that's the only Federation ship that can do that, but this one can't go backwards. But still fairly manoeuvrable. We have Judzia Dax, who can perform an additional two maneuver, forward or bank, but then you can't attack. Kira Norris is a three skill captain. Uh, if a crew up there on an enemy ship would cause the ship to discard or disable any of your upgrades, roll two defense dice. If you roll an evade, ignore the effects of the enemy upgrade. You do not pay a faction penalty when assigning Kira to a Federation ship, presumably because Bajorans are an ally of the Federation. Photon torpedoes. This one's quite good. Uh, attack, mega, uh, attack pattern Omega. If you damage an opponent's hull with a critical, immediately discard this card to search for warp core breach and give them that. That can be quite useful. Here's the one skill, naught cost generic federation captain. And we have the Cisco. He's a six skill point there, four cost, got a tech upgrade. Uh, not tech upgrade, a whatever the metal symbol actually means. Um, once per round, you may re-roll any of uh, any one of your attack or defense die. I've used that on the Defiant; quite useful. Here's the Defiant herself: three attack, two evade, three hull, and one more shield. Same as before with the stuff on the bottom. Uh, a few more upgrades. When defending, convert all of your opponent's criticals to normal hits. Presumably that's to represent the ablative armour that's on the hull of the Defiant. 
And finally, the big bad boy is Quantum Torpedoes, which is a 5 attack at range 2 to 3. Spend target lock to do it. If the target, shop is, if the target ship is hit, add 1 hit result to the total damage. Uh, fire it from the front and back. So that's the USS Defiant, a, a worthwhile expansion, um, especially for Federation players, because you finally get a cloaking device. Two Star Trek Attack Wing, kind of a bit like a glass cannon, so maybe in tournament play you might not see it much, although I saw it in the recent OP2 of the WizKids Dominion event, so you'll never know. Anyway, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more soon.